Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of guiding you through some SEO tactics that I use, today I'm going to be doing something that's actually a little bit more fun, at least for me personally. I'm going to be doing an audit on an affiliate site that isn't unlike a lot of other affiliate sites out there. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the site that we're looking at today, it's called Floating Authority. Um, the first thing that I like to do when I'm starting an audit is just to get a vibe for the website, see what it's about, see what they're trying to do. So if we're looking at the homepage, the first thing I see is a big old picture of a kayak. And then it goes into latest informational content, more about kayaks, when, what to wear, um, a little bit about the uh, owner of the site, so that's good stuff. Um, and then jumps right into reviews. So this is like the best of articles. So like buyer's guides, more about kayaks. Okay, then we're jumping into a little bit of kayak, or sorry, paddle boards here and fishing, other water related activities. Um, yeah, okay, and links to their category pages. Okay, so it looks like this is just a site that is about outdoor water recreational activities. Um, looks like with probably a focus on kayaking, just because kayaks are listed here first when they're talking about buyer's guides and you've got a big old kayak um, on the homepage here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna see what Google sees for the site. So by using site colon, you're able to see all of the pages that Google is indexing for a site. In this case, they've got 269 pages, which isn't, you know, isn't unexpected for a site uh, that is this niche down. Now, where I would see issue if it was something like two pages indexed or like 20,000 or something that either looks way too big or way too small for the perceived uh, niche that this is in. So that's good. Um, looks like they've got some archives, contact us, best of articles. Uh, so I'm not seeing anything crazy that's indexed, so that's all good to go. So first thing I notice, and maybe it's just because I have an SEO's eye, um, but it looks like the title tag on the homepage is missing something. Um, so it doesn't look like they're actually trying to optimize this homepage for anything. However, your homepage is probably the most important thing. This is where you tell Google who you are and what you're about. So to see an empty title tag there, um, that's a little bit of a blunder. I would definitely fill that out and make sure that all of the pages um, on the site have, you know, your titles and metas filled out just as a place to start. Okay, so it looks like in the menu they have all of their categories. Yeah, paddle boards, fish. Um, I think I did see in a... Yeah, so there is an about us page and contact page. That's cool. Um, normally, if I have space, I'll add the uh, About Us in the contact page just to the main menu, just so it feels more like a real site. Um, but looking at this here... Okay, so this is just a category archive straight from WordPress. It's got category in the URL, and it looks like it is syndicating everything to do with kayaks. Um, but they also have... So this is what, what was linked under... This is what was, this is the one that was linked under best kayaks and this is what was linked under just kayaks. Um, so looking at this, it looks like they serve the same purpose and they could probably be combined. Um, pretty sure these are indexing. Yeah, so that's indexing. I think it was just without this. Okay, so both of these pages are indexing. And just objectively speaking, they satisfy the same need. So if it were me, I would probably combine them into one page. And what I like to do with category pages is actually de-index them entirely and rebuild them using a page builder. So if you have something like, I don't know, Elementor or Thrive or something like that, you can control the page URL, make it just best kayaks or something like that. And you can actually add a blog, a blog role that syndicates everything from that category onto that page. Now that's going to give you more freedom to add more content, design elements, um, control the URL, everything a little, a little bit better. Um, so with a niche site like this, you're probably not going to rank for a big head term like Best Kayaks, but as you grow authority of the site, if you already have that page built out and it's got good content that's getting indexed, um, it's going to give you a chance to rank for those bigger terms down the road as you get more authority. All right, so that would be probably a pretty big thing that I would work on. Um, making sure that that doesn't occur for anything else. So we've got paddle boards. Okay, so it looks like it's a recurring issue. So you've got the paddle board pages and best paddle boards. These two pages are satisfying the same need. So again, I would condense them. You can either keep the category page if you like or rebuild it using a page builder um, to give you more control over the URL and uh, content and all that stuff. 
Okay, so I'm going to switch gears here into single page optimization. So this is a page that the uh, owner of this website wanted me to take a look at specifically. Um, first thing I like to do when looking at a per page audit is the title and the H1. So a, biggest, a big mistake that I see all the time is only optimizing for a single term in your title in H1. And it looks like this guy is not making that mistake, so that's great. So obviously the main term for this page is best beginner fishing rods. But what this guy has done is he's done his keyword research. He's found stuff like rod and reel combo, like additional words that he can add into the title tag to optimize for more than just one keyword. So that's great. All right, so if you've got an intro here. It looks like it's starting with building up a little bit of why you should trust us. All right, this sentence right here is great. So the, the term again is best beginner fishing rods. So what this person has done is they have answered the query um, in a single sentence. So the best fishing rod and reel combo for beginners is, or are in this case, the Pen Fierce 3. So what you're doing is you're telling Google like, hey, this is the query and this is the answer, all squished together in one wonderful sentence. So Google is able to really understand that this person knows the answer to this question because they have answered the query um, like that. All right, so now I'm going to look at some of just the core SEO elements, so like the header tags um, on the page. What do we got here? Let's be friends. Interesting. Okay, so this is another issue that I see pretty frequently. Um, it's easy to fix, but it could be really impacting your on-page SEO. Um, so it looks like your theme is tagging stuff in the footer that shouldn't be tagged. So like this is tagging, let's be friends as an H2. So basically what you're telling Google is H1. This is about the best beginner fishing rods. H2, the second most important thing on the page is let's be friends. Like, no, that's not, uh, that, that's not what the page is about. So what I would do is I would basically go into the theme and make sure that all of this stuff is not tagged. Um, looking for anything else crazy. Yeah, so Amazon associate disclaimer, navigation categories. So that's all this stuff down here. Again, it looks like your theme is just tagging stuff it shouldn't be tagging. So it's an easy fix. Fix it once, it's going to fix it on all pages um, most of the time if you're working with WordPress. All right, so next up, I threw this page into Ahrefs just to kind of see what's going on. And what sticks out to me like crazy is this huge drop off right here. So it went from a thriving, growing affiliate site all the way up to pfft, nothing. It got completely hammered. Um, it looks like end of 2019. So that was actually when the BERT update happened. So that's one of the biggest updates since uh, Penguin or Panda. And what BERT looked at is essentially how Google is able to understand the content of a website and know what it's about and be able to really understand the language processing part of content. Um, so because they had such a drop off there, I'd venture to bet that recovering this has a lot to do with content. And that's where I would start. So a good tool for that is uh, Surfer. So this is one of the pages that the website owner said got absolutely hammered um, around this time. So I threw it into Surfer just to kind of see what we got going on. And the first thing that I always look at is the word count. So in this case, consider removing 378 to 1800 words. So what Surfer does is it gives you a nice window of what is expected with the amount of content. So this person isn't too far off. I would remove, you know, probably 400, 500 words to get within this green area. And then after you've removed the words, you can go up to this section here. That's going to tell you based on um, Google's NLP API, what sorts of terms Google is expecting to see in that piece of content based on the competitors. So this information, to my knowledge, comes straight from Google's API. So it's super, super uh, actionable data. And like the number one thing here, Wow, okay, so, okay. So I want you to add 35 to 72 instances of the word kayak. So the fact that you have half or less than half of the suggested amount of that particular term and your content is longer than anybody else means you're super, super unoptimized for that specific term. Um, so I would probably take, take some time and run a couple of your top for performing pages or your previously top performing pages through Surfer and just chug through this list Optimize that content for the words that Google wants to see. You can look at all these phrases, um, words here like paddling and some uh, paddlers looks like it's over optimized. 
So it wants you to be between 6 and 13, and you've got 26. So it's a pretty, it's it's going to be a, a fix that takes a little bit of time. You can hire somebody to do it, you can do it yourself, um, but it is pretty straightforward. So I would use this tool again because it uses Google's NLP API, and it looks like you got hit probably by the BERT update. Um, so I would definitely take some time and go through your content and optimize it based on uh, what Google wants to see. Okay, now to finish us off here, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, some CRO tips. So after this person hopefully goes through and optimizes their content, fixes up their categories, they're going to be getting some more traffic, um, but then what happens? So there's some CRO tips that I'm going to give on this page. Uh, first thing that jumps out to me is these buttons. So they are very similar. This blue is pretty similar to this teal, so it doesn't really jump out uh, very much. And you're also telling them exactly where to buy. So if somebody is interested in this Pen Fierce 3 fishing rod, whatever the heck you want to call it, they know that they can buy it on Bass Pro Shop. They don't have to click this link here. So if they go through and they read your content and they go with your recommendation, there's a chance that you may not get any commission because you basically told them exactly where to go to buy. Um, so that's the biggest thing. Make these a little more ambiguous. Um, if you are using the Amazon program, Amazon does have some guidelines, but I'm pretty sure you can just do something like check price as long as you don't say that this is the best price or anything like that. Um, what are these? These are affiliate links, and we've got a table of contents. All right, then it goes into content about the product. Again, your call to action here, like, I, I would ideally want to see some sort of button, because this right here, this is just a link. This link looks exactly like this link, and this is an internal link that goes to another page. Um, so this blends in with the content. Uh, so I would definitely change that to like a button, make it a contrasting color. Don't tell them exactly where to buy. And you've got pros and cons. I would probably move the pros and cons up with uh, these things here that just talk about, you know, the specific features. That way people are able to determine uh, good stuff, the bad stuff, and what they need to know about that product. Okay, interesting. So maybe it's nitpicky, maybe it's not, but this image is huge. And this one is super, super tiny. So what this is going to do is it's going to make the user lose trust in what they're reading. I know it sounds ridiculous, like an image can have that much of an impact, but people expect websites to be polished at this point in time. Everybody's on the internet all the time. So when they see stuff like this, like little simple mistakes, like typos or design inconsistencies, you're instantly going to lose that user's trust. Um, so I would definitely clean up the design on the site and... Uh, Put some buttons here, make the call to action really, really clear, but don't tell them exactly where to buy. You get some videos, which is good, good. Yeah, I mean, uh, other than that, this the page loaded pretty quickly. Um, you are, I, I, I do like this, I would just change the colors and change the buttons. The star ratings, fine. So aside from that, like, again, this is a site that is not unlike a lot of other affiliate sites out there. It's not making a ton of mistakes, but the mistakes that it is making are pretty substantial in how they impacted. Again, we were looking at uh, looking like it probably fell off from BERT. So the main goal with, you know, auditing and fixing up this website, is definitely going to be a content play. So I would go through and I would go into Search Console and see which pages took the biggest hit um, and then re-optimize those using Surfer re-index them, do that across the entire site, you know, prioritizing uh, the most important pages first. And then if that doesn't work, then I would switch to looking at links, but I venture to bet in this case it is more about content. So that's what I would do here. And uh, if you are in a similar situation with this website, I hope that this audit has helped guide you into the right direction. And thanks for watching.